What's going on everybody? This is John Hester here at Hester's Motorsports in Raton, New Mexico. And I am here going to show you some brand new goodies. So, this right here, as you can see, unopened. It's a brand new set of, set of prototype test shocks. This is brand new product that we're coming out with for the CF Moto C Force ATV C Force 400 and 500. Now we just got everything done for the C Force 400 and 500. What's called the Gen One, uh, Gen One from I think 2016 to 2022, and then about 2022 and a half they came out with the Gen Two which I have videos on the differences in between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 400 and 500. So uh, check out our C, uh, CF Moto playlist in our channel and we can get that all set up. So that way you can see the differences that they changed in between. This right here, my friends, is going to make your machines ride like you never thought it would ride before. This is the rear shock. And with this shock here, we're going to be gaining a little bit of lift. Now, this is just an unboxing video, so I can't really give you all of those details yet, but I will have another video once we get these on the machine, and we need to do final testing. So right now, this is just an unboxing to show you that these are really exist, and we have been working on them. And these are exclusive from us. These are a Hester Edition shock. Um, all my specifications and everything from you know I sent to Elka and everything so Getting these all set up. Like I said this this right here in this box is the gen 2 C force 400 and 500 s uh, shocks and uh, I could already hear the questions What about the 600s? Wait your turn. There's another box. <laughs> I Got more coming. I I have prototypes for the 400s, the 500s, the 600s, everything. We already have the 800 and 1000 shocks already out, ready to ready to order. So you just give us a call Tuesday through Saturday, 575-445-3558. Uh, I'll have all the information in the and in just the description down below on how to contact us. And you just give us a call and tell us what you have. And we'll get all the basics uh, info. Now, like on the ATVs, we don't have to go into such detail because it's not as wide a range variety as a side-by-side -side will be. An ATV is pretty pretty simple to work out. But these suckers here, uh, once I get them on a C4500, uh, we're going to be putting them on for testing. And that's so I can get my final spring rates and make sure that all the valving and everything is set the way that I want it. I will show the difference in between the sock shocks and our shocks, which, you know, this is an aluminum alloy. Uh, hardened anodized aluminum uh, shock body we're going to be gaining travel so we are maximizing the potential I mean granted these are ATV a arms so you have a just a little bit of room to work with so it's not like you're got, not going to slap these on a 500 and oh, I gained 12 inches of wheel travel and stuff like that no it, we're working with small finite numbers here so Every little bit that I can gain is a big gain in the long run. The valving is the biggest part. So we're going to have these all set up here. Like I said, that is a rear. Let me grab it. Which, believe it or not, I do believe the front on these are bigger. I think. Don't quote me on it. I do so many shots. I can't tell you. My mind is shot. Okay, that's another set of rears. Let me grab a front here, just so I can have a front and a rear side by side, just so you have that. Another rear, just kidding. So this one's the front, and they're on the tags. So like when you get them, I mean, you can't, you can't mess up. It's specific. You know, we have it all set to where you know, this is the top of the shock here. This is the bottom of the shock. You cannot flip them upside down. They will not work correctly. The valving is set to have 
the, the flow a specific way. So it will only fit a, a certain way uh, on there. Now, if I built a shock to be upside down, you would know because all these Elka stickers and stuff, it would say Elka right side up on there. So everything would be set and you would know it. But I mean, it's a fraction. So if I'm if I'm right, I think the front is like a quarter of an inch longer than the rear. There's a little bit more room, like I said. Um, now these are stage ones, um, what we call a set it and forget it, and this is going to be our most common shock. So a stage one, which I will also have the link to the video in our comment section. It's called the Alka Five Stage Breakdown. Breakdown. It really goes through in great detail and explains the stage. The stage is a personal preference on how much tunability you want on the shock. Just buying a stage five doesn't mean you bolt it up and oh, it's five times better than a one. No, it's the same shock. You're just adding more stuff to play with. Now you can fine tune it in those higher stages to make it even better. And it's personal preference in suspension. One person's setup doesn't feel right on another person. So it's, it's how you like it um, on there. But we are going to, you know, I've got a few different spring rates and stuff that we're gonna be testing these on. But this here, I just wanted to unbox and show you that we have been working on and they are a reality and they are coming. My goal was for early 23 and so far we're, we're achieving that. So we should have um, these out along with it's crazy how many how many vehicles I've been doing lately. So uh, quite a few more vehicles uh, to come uh, on it here. So wanted to give you guys a quick look. So that way you can actually see that the C-Force ATVs are getting some wonderful love in here from good old Mick Lovin. And you're going to absolutely love me once you ride this with these on here. Once we get these finished... I guarantee you that that machine isn't even going to be remotely close to the same machine. Be able to carry more weight. So if you carry a lot of weight for work, towing trailers and everything, you're going to have less sag. You're going to have increased wheel travel. And the difference in valving of this thing, you can drive a C-Force 400, 500, 4x4 ATV, dang near like a, a Honda TRX 450 race quad or Yamaha y YFZ as a couple examples. So suspension is the absolute biggest upgrade that you could ever, ever do. This power is nothing without control. So I wanna thank you all uh, for watching. Please subscribe, keep up to date on our channel. We will definitely keep you up to date once we keep uh, get more uh, stuff coming. And there's a lot more, I mean, tons of stuff. I mean, we're doing, we're really changing a lot of stuff on our channel. And we're doing a lot more playlists. We're doing the Hester how-to playlist. Or, you know, starting to show more how-to videos on how to do certain things. Um, so trying to get some more of that information out. And uh, product reviews, more videos on product reviews. So that way you can see the product on a vehicle, how it fits, how it looks, how it works. And my personal input on what I think of that product or whatever it may be. So, you know, been in been doing this an extraordinarily long time. We've been in business since 1978, I'm a second generation. Um, I was born, not really born into this, but I've <laughs> been doing this my whole life. And um, I am an engineer, so I know how to build really cool stuff. So uh, look forward to more stuff. And like I said, it's just an unboxing for the CF Moto C-Force 400 and 500 this is the Gen 2 shocks, which a Gen 1 is going to be slightly different because they did change some stuff in the A-arms and the, and the chassis on the Gen 2. And the Gen 2 has more potential. So you cannot put a Gen 2 shock on a Gen 1 and expect it to work the same. So there is some geometry differences. And uh, we do have the Gen 1 um, 400 and 500. That's going to be like, I, I believe, like I said, 20... Could be 2015, don't quote me. I, I don't have it right in front of me, but I, I know 2016 to 2022 Gen 1 
400 and 500S, we will have those shocks as well. Um, this is just, you know, that setup is pretty much done. We're just finalizing, getting everything done. I didn't do an unboxing on it because uh, since the Gen 2 is the new one and it just came out and it just started hitting dealers this summer. Uh, you know, we're working on this thing pretty dang quick and getting them, getting them out and building custom suspension faster than some people are doing both on parts. So proud of that, you know, really working hard on getting all this stuff. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep up to date and look forward to really changing your ride. Now, what can we build for you today?